So for a lot of business owners out there, there are, there are different types of staff. There are the, the ones that are there on time, do all the work and more, go home late, you know, they just give it everything. And they don't even care about the money, they're just there <laughs> because they want to be there. And I've got a little friend here today, we might we want to come on video as well. He said hi, Mr. Magpie. <laughs> um, and they're just there because they want to contribute, right? And it's important as a business owner that you do not take advantage of that. It's important that you reward them and, and you nurture them and look after them when they need to be looked after. Uh, a lot of business owners make that mistake of going, you know, asking for more and more from these people and they just take, take, take. Not out of greed or not out of, um, you know, malicious intent, but because they're offering, you know, why not get them to do more work? But it's important to, to, to acknowledge that effort. It's important to, uh, as a business owner, to, to really support those staffs when they need, they need some support. Um, whether it be in a way of giving back, whether it be monetary rewards, whether it be helping them in, in learning something new, you know, they may have a, a vision of setting up their own business or they may have a vision of building a charity or whatever it is for them. Uh, supporting in, in them in their endeavors because they're, they're also going to need some help along the way Everyone needs a little bit of help along the way, right? So that, That's that's the first thing uh, I will say and getting back to The topic how you know, how do you deal with unmotivated staff? The second type is really the ones that are there to take as much from you as possible They will you know cut hours. They will you know take resources from your company without any regard for what the implications. I'm just gonna rub this lens a little bit so you can still see me in this rain. Um, they will, you know, go out of their way to actually not help you in, in any sense, any way, shape or form, but they'll do that bare minimum so they're not in trouble, right? These are the, those are the people who are, I don't know, you've gotta really ask yourself the question, do you want them in your company or not? And um, if you haven't defined a set of values, a mission, vision, purpose for your company, this is a, probably a great time to start thinking about it because if they don't know what, what it is that your company is about, they're just going to do whatever, right? They're going to just do the bare minimum and, 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 um, and, and look to get away with that. Um, so so that, that's, that's, another, you know, that's another type of employee and really dealing with them is, is, is it's a lot of effort. You've got to manage them. You've got to phone. You've got to ask them, have they done a task? And it is draining because it's it's almost like a one-way emotional. Uh, you're putting in all the energy, and they're sucking it out of you. And by the end of the day, you're 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 drained, right? Um, those kind of employees, uh, compared to with the the first one, who's who's probably coming to you and asking, what's next? You know, what's the next thing I, I can do for you to support you? Um, Really, the middle ground is the employee that's in flow. Uh, it's the ones that they're clear about their purpose, they're clear about your company's purpose, mission, vision, values. Um, they're on their way to figuring out what their mission, vision, values are in life, or they're growing and expanding. And they put in, you know, the effort to, to help you grow your company. They may come and ask you questions, they may not. If they need to, they will. They've, they've got that autonomy to work by themselves. If they need to, they've got the the uh, independence of, and they can work in the group uh, when needed. Um, those are the people who are kind of on autopilot, who are self-motivated and they, they just keep prodding along, making just, it's, it's almost like effortless. It's, it's, um, it's like magic, right? Um, it's not over demanding of your in attention, it's not under demanding. And these are the kind of people you, if you're, putting out a vision, doing affirmations and things like that. These are the kind of employees you want to put out there that you will attract into your company because they, they're the ones that will just make it, make it, you know, grow, prosper and expand a lot faster because they're in flow, your company's in flow. So those are, those are really the three types of employees. How do you motivate under-motivated uh, employees? The trick, the hack, the key is really to find employees that don't need motivation they're self-motivated and if you've got ones that are unmotivated go and define your mission vision values 
and they will automatically disappear. They will leave your company, be ready to hire new people and um, bring the ones that that are clear about you know where your company is going because you're clear about it first you've got to get clear about it so if you enjoyed this video please give us a like if you love this video subscribe to our channel and i'll catch you on the next video